for the longest time, I clung to the idea that the only way to resurrect Exia was to turn back time. However, within this memento of her, this crystal, I discovered a vestige of her consciousness. So, I utilized the magical energy siphon from the crystals we uncovered over all of Artra in order to amplify that remnant of Exia sentience. Now, behold... Exia's consciousness grows stronger by the day. Soon, very soon, the long-awaited time shall come. The very moment I have anticipated nigh on a century shall be upon us. <sighs> Being devoid of all emotion, you might find this feeling impossible to comprehend. Mind you. I have something to report. It concerns Garvel and the others from the Arms Dealers Guild. While you were absorbed in your research, Lord Sodaly, they appear to be taking the opportunity to act unchecked. Let the mice play whilst the cat is away. Pardon? Once I have brought Exia back to life, I shall have no need for the Sanctum. In fact, the whole continent of Ardra will no longer serve us any purpose. Does that mean you intend to return to Tessera? I shall soon become a god. That towering Grand Cathedral of Tessera is the only appropriate place for the likes of the god I will be. Those who looked down upon me, sneered at me, and treated me as an annoyance, they will learn to fear this god. So you two still haven't found any leads on the whereabouts of the Six Swords? Nothing solid, but we do have a clue or two. Then why haven't you followed up on them yet? Well, you see... Don't go thinking I'll give you any slack because we're all descendants of Yizog here. There's plenty of others who can fill your shoes. Don't. Just... don't. You think I'm just gonna stand here and let him talk to us like that? Let it go. Forget it. You two, go search for Vilna instead. Why Vilna? You allowed a bunch of bandits to steal her away before your very eyes, didn't you? It's time to take responsibility. You got that? Yeah. Loud and clear. I'm so done with Garful. Does he think he's running the Crystal Sanctum as Sadali's stead or something? Hmm... Vilna, huh? Who are we to say no to finding his beloved sister? We'll track her down, along with those six blades or whatever, while we're at it. But we won't be handing Vilna over for free, now will we? We'll make him pay a high price for treating us like dirt.
What is it? Where are you going, Lord Garvel? To track down Venera. So, you've picked up her trail then? If I can just get my hands on Venera and her daughter Daria, then I won't need to rely on the Sanctum any further. For we, the people of Yizog, will finally have our greatest desire. A country to call our own. <sighs> that said, keep a close eye on Lumeda and Lamega. Aren't those twin descendants of Yizog just like us? Yeah, but we need to cut them off. They can't be trusted. That's... Unfortunate. Listen up. I need you to stay here at the cathedral and act as if nothing's out of the ordinary. Where are you two going? We've been ordered to search Ravona. Lord Sodaly gave no such command that I am aware of. Sodaly? Since when did we become churchgoers of the Sanctum? That's right. We're members of the Arms Dealers Guild. <sighs> oh, <laughs> did we hurt your feelings? If you must know, we're not going behind Lord Sodaly's back or anything. It's just that, well, no one has seen hide or hair of Lord Sodaly since he shut himself away in the basement, right? Hmm. And we need to keep doing the work of the guild too, you see. Very well. Let me say one thing, though. We're the descendants of Yizog. No doubt about it. But we're done being treated as slaves, you hear? And that goes for Lord Sodaly, as much as it does for Garvel. Descendants of Izog. So what's the plan once we found Vona? We'll make our dear headsmen surrender the Arms Dealers Guild over to us in exchange for Vilna's life. Not bad. Garvel doesn't have a lick of dignity, so the rulers of the Great Houses treat him with contempt. Right now, he is nothing more than Sodaly's lapdog, and yet he barks orders at us as if he's still our rightful headsman. We were told that if we joined the guild, then we'd be on easy street. But the reality is far different. So I was thinking, why don't we remold the guild into something more ideal? Sounds good to me. Garvel's reign is over. Time for us to call the shots. All right, let's go find us some missing sister then. Lord Garvel, we've been awaiting your arrival. What's the latest on Venera's whereabouts? She was last sighted heading into the former lands of Likaros. How many does she have in tow? Venera and her daughter Daria, escorted by Tyrell. Plus... Uh, I didn't realize there were others. There is also a young man and a young woman, as well as a little girl. Those must be the ones who took out our guards at the cabin in the woods and made off with her. Most likely, yes. I know Venera and Tyrell. 
There's little to no chance that two of them could have defeated the guild's elite guards we had posted around the cabin on their own. So the young man and woman who now accompany Venera must have lent them a hand. We'd better not take any risks. Gather some more men. We've already sent word. They'll rendezvous with us shortly. We resume tracking Venera. Do not let them get wind of us. Once our backup arrives, we'll take our prey by surprise. Yes, my lord. I knew they were up to something. It seems that daughter of Veneras has the blood of none other than Dario, Horn's crown prince running through her veins. Which can only mean Garvel plans on using her to take over the kingdom of Horn. So, what are we gonna do about it? We can't just let them Ezog scum have Horn now, can we? That greater land is far more fitting for the likes of us Likaros. Time to nab their little prize for our own, I say. That's a poor way of putting it. We're simply rescuing Horn's little princess, and perhaps being rewarded for our efforts. <laughs> and if this proves impossible, then we inform the sanctum of Garvel's little plan and oust him from their good graces. Either way, it only benefits us. But for now, let's just wait and see how things play out. We have reached the Great River. Crossing this will lead us into former Finnis territory. You said this is where the Realm Scourge was last sighted. Yes, without a doubt. I saw it with my own eyes, my lady. I see. Hm. Then the towering monstrosity crossed the river and passed through the old Fennis lands on its way to Horn? That is a possibility. <clears throat> what is it, your ladyship? Do you not sense something? Minions impeding us from approaching the Realm Scourge. Well, we shall see about that. <sighs> Lady Rosaluna! Something is not as it seems. With regard to what, your ladyship? Is the ship that Styrie left behind still harbored at Wazette Castle? Most likely, yes. But what use would you have with the vessel? You plan to chase after the Realm Scourge, don't you? Most peculiar. I cannot perceive the slightest hint of life in the Great River. It's as I suspected. Care to share, my lady? At first, I thought the Realm Scourge sent forth those monsters to prevent us from approaching the river. But that was not the case. Those monsters were merely fleeing from the Realm Scourge in a panic. You do not mean... The Realm Scourge is still nearby? <clears throat> Why 
is the water bubbling like that? Miasma! Full starboard! Get us out of these waters immediately! You think the realm scratch is under the water near here? It's as Gilgamesh said. That thing emits miasma, so that its enemies cannot approach it until it restores all of its functionality. It's only a matter of time before the Realm Scourge awakens. When it does, will it head for Wizette? Or... One did what? What's more, a man appeared to use the chaos to escape from the cathedral grounds. Did you see his face? I think it was Eldrick. Perhaps he went to call for reinforcements. No, something tells me that is not the case. Sodomy's divine guard, who are likely stationed within the cathedral, are also yet to make an appearance. Let us continue to observe before we act. What in heavens could that commotion be? It sounds as if a battle is being waged. Could it be? Has someone come to rescue us? <laughs> Whoever would come to Ari. We are but strangers in a foreign land here in Ardra. That's true, but still... Sodaly appears to be a man with many an enemy. So if some force or another has invaded these Sanctum headquarters, then there may be a chance we are free. I for one do not care who it may be. I simply wish to escape from here and go back home to Tessera. Huh. Gilgamesh. This place brings back memories. Have you come to interfere with my work? That is not my intent. Not anymore, at least. The Realm Scourge has arisen. So it is as I thought. I could sense the evil emanating out of it from here. The Realm Scourge has evolved since the last time we faced it. <sighs> Amnilus merged with that menace in order to seal it away. And now it feeds off her magical energy? There is no other explanation. The Realm Scourge continues to become an even more fearful presence. It is far worse than before. You came all this way just to inform me of that? How fares it with Exia? The preparations to resurrect her are almost in order. 
That is quite the feat to achieve without turning back time. It is all thanks to this crystal you gave me. You probably meant it as a keepsake for me of my dear Exia. However, as luck would have it, within this very crystal, I discovered a vestige of her sentience. So you have been amplifying that remnant of Exia's consciousness then. You would still need to transplant it into a body. I intend to utilize one of the ancient relics, the dagger. That dagger separates the mind from the body. And so it shall separate Exia's soul from the crystal that it resides in. I see. You have thought this through indeed. When you do bring Exia back to life, tell her. Tell her I am sorry for everything. My business with Sadali is concluded. I see. Back to your positions, men. I shall see our guest out myself. I may. How did His Holiness seem? I would have thought you should know that better than I. <sighs> he said his preparations to resurrect Exia were in order. Is that so? It almost sounds like you do not wish for that to happen. That is not true. Then pray that the Realm Scourge does not attack this cathedral of yours. <clears throat> What's the matter? We're almost at Anvil Castle, aren't we? Feel free to laugh if what I say next amuses you. But the idea of visiting the place where my master fell in battle scares me. Hmm. I did not witness my master die with my own eyes. Somewhere in my heart, part of me even believes that he may still be alive. Is that odd? No. I feel the same way. I fear that once I lay eyes upon his gravestone, O's death will become an undeniable reality to me. It's just how it is. As we get closer to the castle, memories of my master keep welling up from within me. Then why not share a tale or two? My brother and I used to fight in our own special style. That is to say, in such a rough manner, you could hardly call it swordsmanship. Unable to bear watching our unpolished skills any longer, Father summoned Master O, who happened to be visiting Leonis at the time, and insisted that he train us. You called him Father just now. <sighs> Sorry, I should not have interrupted. Do go on. Do you really wish to hear this? O was my dearest friend. So I want to know what kind of life he lived after he left the East. Master refused the request at first. However, 
I heard he changed his mind after seeing my brother and I train. You heard that from O himself? Yes. He must have sensed you two had potential. I am not so sure of that. Master not only taught us swordsmanship, but many other important life lessons. But... I, uh... I still do not understand half of them, even now. Only after having lost so much am I finally able to comprehend what his words really meant. <sighs> I am such a fool. We cannot gain something unless we first lose something else. Humans are such sad creatures. What? I was no different. I've lost many a thing I held dear. And I suspect it was the same for old O as well. <sighs> but fretting about it won't change the past. It's up to us to use our mistakes as impetus to strive for a better future. You have the right of it. Let's get moving. We don't want to keep O waiting any longer. Agreed. Who goes there? Entry into the castle is not allowed without express permission. I am from the Arms Dealers Guild. The name's Eldrick. And what purpose does the Arms Dealers Guild have here precisely? I need to meet with Queen Moshery. The Arms Dealers Guild is under the control of the Sanctum. That makes you one of Sodaly's servants, doesn't it? Uh, please. There's something important I must tell your Queen. The future of Horde depends on it, I promise you. Perhaps I was a fool to think they would lend an ear to one from Yizar. <laughs> Who's there? Well, what is it? I am told that you have some important tidings for me. Yes, your highness. There is something you must know. An heir to the throne of Horn has been born. What in heavens are you talking about? <laughs> 